From architect to county supervisor since 1995, Ron Roberts represents 626,000 county residents. Supervisor, thanks so much for being here this morning. Nice to be with you, Melissa. Well, first of all, speaking of something that takes some architectural design, let's go ahead and talk about the gondola project. It's been more than a year since uh, the money was approved to study that. What's right. the latest? Well, we finished the study, and, uh, and the, the good news was it not only looks like it's very feasible, it looks like it would be very effective and we would carry over a million riders the first year we open is what the projection is. These are, these are really big numbers and on a, on a route that goes from downtown and essentially into Balboa Park. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take it to the next stage and hope to begin uh, discussions with the federal and state officials here in the new year as to funding sources that, and how they might help. And there's excitement at both of those levels. Mm -hmm. And speaking of funding, how much will it cost to actually make all of this come true? The, the total cost of the system is right around $65 million. Mm -hmm. That's for the two miles. Doesn't sound like much, but uh, you're talking about a very, very efficient system that, that at the end of the day might even make money. It'd be rare in public transit to see something that actually turns a little bit extra out of the fare recovery. And from transportation in the air to transportation on the ground, uh, you're going to be the first supervisor to also serve as chair of SANDAG. One of the big things is a transportation funding ballot initiative. Can you explain a little bit about that? Well, uh, yes, I will be the incoming chair. Likely, we still have to have, have an election. Let's cross our fingers. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> and maybe not. <laughs> but uh, we've been working very hard. Myself, uh, Jack Dale, who's the current chair, Gary Gallegos, who's the one of the best executives around. We've all been working along with the board members to say there are big projects that we want. There's mm -hmm. public transit projects, there's freeway improvement projects, there's local road projects that we need help with. We, like so many other areas, Los Angeles, San Francisco and elsewhere, mm -hmm. that have uh, many times over what we have in terms of their sales tax for those things, we're looking at maybe a, a slight increase that would then bring us new trolley lines, uh, freeway additions where they're needed, mm -hmm. and, and local roads where they're vitally needed, not to mention the expansion of our bike systems and other things that are highly desirable. And speaking of the trolley, the Mid-Coast Trolley Line to UCSD, I feel like we've been talking about that forever. What is the latest when it comes to that? We will break ground this coming year. I can't give you an exact date but yet. But this year, 2015. I think it'll be early in the year. Uh, everything is ready. We've actually started some of the utility relocation. Mm -hmm. So some of the preliminary work in a sense is, is moving ahead. All the contracts are virtually in place. Uh, we need the final go ahead from the federal government. We expect to have that at the very beginning of 2016. Okay, so 2016 is the date that we're looking at. It's going to, we are going to be underway with the construction. For those not familiar with the project, can you explain what it actually is? This will extend what we call the blue line, which uh, basically runs from the border to downtown. This will continue it on along the existing line to Old Town, mm -hmm. and then from Old Town, there'll be a brand new section that will cross the San Diego River then have stations in, in, uh, on Marina Boulevard, a station at Claremont Drive, a station at uh, Balboa, all the way up, crossing back over the freeway onto the university campus, and then back over to the freeway to UTC. Mm -hmm. This will be a great line for people and serve the Veterans Hospital as well as all of the Scripps and UCSD and everybody else. And, and do enough people currently use a trolley system to make an expansion like this uh, worth it? Uh, this is one of the most highly rated projects in the country, according to the federal government. Mm -hmm. So, and they're paying, they're putting up half the money. This is one of those things that people don't understand. If we don't do it, the money is, is going to go to some other city and they're going to have it. Mm -hmm. But because of the voters here in past years have provided the, half the funding, we we're able to get the federal government then to use their resources. Got it, okay. Let's go ahead and switch right now to one of your other focuses, uh, which includes children health and, uh, children's health, including an anti-obesity initiative. Explain a little bit about that. What's your message going forward? Well, over 10 years ago, we were recognizing that we really had something going on in children's health. The kids, the weight was uh, a ballooning in a sense. I, pardon the pun, mm -hmm. but we saw that. We saw obesity was increasing 
year by year, and we thought we, we need to do something about it. We brought together 90 stakeholders, community, people of interest in the community, and we started putting programs in place. We started encouraging the school districts to get actively involved. Some of those early things, we just asked them, you know, it isn't about banning soft drinks, just offer some healthy choices that aren't so fattening. And it was amazing the pushback that we got initially. Today we take all this for, everybody is focused now in a positive way and we're seeing those obesity levels start to come down. Okay, and lastly, you were in New York recently, of course, another push for the charger, Chargers, uh, no denying, they do have a pretty horrible record right now. However, a lot of people still wondering, are they going to stay or are they going to go? Are we putting good money after bad? What's the latest? Well, uh, the city and the county, the, the mayor and through my office, have been working together very, very, very closely. Years ago, when we didn't have a stadium in San Diego, it was the city and the county that formed a partnership and built the, what was originally San Diego Stadium, mm -hmm. then Jack Murphy Stadium, and then finally Qualcomm. And we've enjoyed that for years. It's now one of the oldest in the country. It's quite different from the new stadiums. And if we're going to have an NFL team here, we need to be able to make a commitment. And we are in negotiations with both the Chargers and the NFL. And that would be my uh, second dream maybe. And in addition to getting the trolley line going, would love to see that come to a positive conclusion. I want to have an NFL team in San Diego. I love the Padres, I love the Chargers, what they offer to the community. Uh, that's part of an essential part of our community, just as our museums and our symphony and other things are. So I want that piece in place, and I think we're, we're making progress. All right, any other projects coming up that you want county uh, residents to know about? Well, you know, that's a pretty full plate right there. I guess there. if you can narrow it down. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're, we're going to expand our work on children's health. For me, that's really critical, and I'll have some announcements early in the coming year. I, I want to expand that out. We're going to have a unique partnership. I can't say a lot about it right now because it's in the formative stages, but I want my final years on the board, I want a commitment mm -hmm. to improving not only kids' health, but overall San Diego County's, the well-being of the people that live here. But kids are a special focus for me. Okay, well, I guess we'll be inviting you back on and we get details about that. I'm anxious to share them. All right, Supervisor, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you, Melissa. And I'm Melissa Masiha with this week's San Diego Newsmakers. I'll be back next week.